Please stand by for our broadcast from the Philippine government's emergency broadcast system. Please stand by for our broadcast from the Philippine government's emergency broadcast system. Please stand by for our broadcast from the Philippine government's emergency broadcast system. This is the Philippine Emergency Broadcast System announcing the start of the month-long community quarantine in the Metro Manila. The Interagency Task Force on Emerging Infectious Diseases adopted several measures as the country raised Code Red Sub-Level 2 due to risks posed by Coronavirus Disease 2019 On Thursday night, the President announced that Metro Manila will be subjected to «community quarantine» to protect the public from the contagion. Local mobility Domestic land, air, sea travel will be suspended to and from Metro Manila starting midnight of March 15, 2020 to April 14, 2020. Employers may issue IDs or proof of employment to their workers who live outside Metro Manila that may be used as special passes when they travel to work. Uniformed personnel will be deployed along the borders of the National Capital Region for enforcement of the local travel ban. The train systems in the Metro LRT, MRT, and PNR shall remain operational for public use but shall implement social distancing measures. International arrivals and departures. Those coming to and from abroad via the Ninoy Aquino International Airport in Metro Manila shall be allowed entry subject to travel restrictions that are currently in place. Filipino citizens, their foreign spouses, children, and holders of permanent resident and diplomatic visas who are arriving from abroad will have to follow certain quarantine measures as they enter the country. Foreign nationals flying out back to their country of origin will also be allowed to do so. More stringent protocols will be set to screen those arriving from countries with local transmission of COVID-19. Detailed guidelines for arriving foreign travelers will be released by the task force soon. Anyone coming in from abroad via NAIA will have to remain inside Metro Manila until the local travel ban is lifted. The government encouraged those who are heading to areas outside Metro Manila to use alternative airports for their arrival such as Clark and Cebu for easier navigation to other provinces. Price freeze on certain food items, medical supplies, and other necessities will be enforced for 60 days. All classes in Metro Manila will be suspended until April 14, 2020. According to the Department of Education, a special formula for computation of grades and online exams may be adopted. Schedule of graduation rights will likewise be rescheduled. Teachers are not required to be present in schools unless otherwise directed by the division superintendent, according Under Secretary of Education. Work at the executive branch of the government have been suspended but skeletal workforce will be put in place to ensure that the delivery of public services will not be compromised. In the legislative branch, the Senate will conduct business as usual while the House of Representatives suspended work up to April 12. Meanwhile, all court hearings are suspended from March 13 to 18, according to the Supreme Court. Frontline services of SSS, Full Health, and GSIS shall remain in place. Bank and stock market operations shall continue during the community quarantine period. Period. ATMs will be regularly replenished and the public need not panic in withdrawing cash. Courts in the National Capital Judicial Region will operate only with a skeletal force from March 15 to April 12 as a precautionary measure. Justices of the Supreme Court SC, Court of Appeals, Court of Tax Appeals, and the Sandigan Bayan and the judges of the first and second level courts in the region must be on standby during this period to act on and hear urgent matters. Blessed be our health officials, nurses, doctors, and everyone fighting this disease. May God be with you all.